guys learning with rich here in this video let's continue our discussion about revit 2022 for architecture so last video as you can see we have learned how to create our uh, topo surface by importing our cad file so this time around i'm going to show you how to create a property line okay so let's get started so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open from the project browser my site plan. I'll just double click that. And then as you can see, I still have here the CAD drawing that I have exported last time. So in this CAD drawing, I have already here my property line created. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, some of the property line here is obscured or covered by the top of surface. So what I'm going to do is here from the view control bar I'm gonna change this to wireframe for me to be able to see my property lines okay my auto hide property lines okay and let's get started so to create your property line just go to the massing inside just like what we have done last time when we created our top surface and then after that you can change the settings of the property lines tag if you want so after you create your property line, you can tag it and then you can modify the property of how the tag uh, shows for the property line. So you can go to the site settings here, the dialog launcher, and then this is the property data. So you can specify here what will going to be the angle display settings when you tag your property line and the units when you tag your property line. Okay, so as you can see, it's degrees from NS and then degrees minutes a uh, second. That is my angle display and units for the property tag when I tag my property line. Okay, so if you want to change that, just click the drop down arrow and then select the other option. All right, so I'm not going to change this one. I'll just use the default setting. Okay, so I'll just select OK and let us now create my property line. Okay, so to do that from the modify side, you can see here the property line tool so it creates a property line in a plan view you click this one and then you will gonna have this dialog box that asks you how would you like to create the property line okay so you have two options so it's either you type your uh, property line distances and bearings okay or you can just create by sketching so which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to create my property line by create by sketching. Okay, since I already have the sketch of my property line. So I'm now going to select here create by sketching. And then after that from the draw panel. So as you can see, these are the tools that I can use to, sh uh, to shape up my property line. So I'm going to use here the peak lines. So I can just simply pick the lines that was created in CAD. Uh, CAD drawing so I'm gonna select pick lines and then let us now pick my property line just click that the top left bottom and then the right okay so make sure it's close and then after that just select finish edit mode and that's it okay so that is now your property line now, if you want to tag your property line, what you can do is from your uh, quick access toolbar, you can click tag by category. So you click that. And then after that, you click now your property lines. Okay, so at the moment, there is no tag loaded for the property line segment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select yes here to load one. So I select that one. And then I'm going to load the property line tag family here. So I click this one and then I'm going to select here open to load it. And that's it. So it's now loaded. So I'm now going to. Okay, I do not want to have a leader line. So that's why the leader here is unchecked on my options bar. So I just leave it unchecked and then I will just proceed on clicking the property line. So you click that. So that's the one. Then you click. There you go. Then you click another one here. Then you click another one here. And that's it. And then select modify. And because of the scale, uh, it appears that our 
property line tag here is too small. We can't see it clearly. So what I'm going to do is from my view control bar, I'm going to change the scale here. So instead of 1 inch to 20 foot or 20 feet, so I click that and then I'll just look for the scale 1 inch to 40 feet. So I click that and there you go. Okay, so at least I can now see the property line here nicely. All right? There you go. So again, if you want to hide your CAD drawing so you can go to the visibility graphic overrides, just click that edit. And then go to the imported categories and then I can just uncheck the site plan dot dwg to turn off the visibility and then I'll just select your OK. And there you go. Okay. So there's now my property line and then there's now my topography. So I'm going to select here tile views to arrange all views within the application window. So I'll just click that one. So as you can see, I have the site here and I also have the 3D. If I want to see this site and 3D at the same time in this view, I can use tile views. Just click that and there you have it. So this is now my plan view, the site plan. And then this is now the 3D model. Okay? So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.